Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today with I have two examples with me over here so relating to the cost minimum function so I'll see if it gets longer so we'll, we'll just jump to the next video or if we could do it over here so we'll do both of them over here. So let us take the first question. So the question is two thermal units, two thermal electrical units in a power station are governed by the following equations. So the equation is given. So the first unit, unit number one is a coal fired station. Unit number one is what? It's a coal fired station and this is given H1. The corresponding model is given as H1 is equal to 400 plus. 5 p1 plus 0 0.01 p1 squared and this is in the units of mbtus per hour mbtus per hour and also the economic dispatch is given which is from 20 to how much 200 megawatts fine yes similarly unit number two is also a coal fired station again with the equation governing equation given as h2 and this is what this is 600 plus 4p2 plus 0 0.015 p2 squared and again so the units are mbtus per hour the economic dispatch is from 20 to 200 again so 20 to 200 again in megawatts now for the calculations what do we need we need the objective function f which is what which is h times x where this H is what? This is the heat equivalent and X is what? That is the cost of the fuel. Anyways, let me complete the question first then I'll come to this. The, each unit requires coal with a heat content of. So heat content means what? This is given the calorific value which is in. Uh, so over here it is given the calorific value or the heat content is given it is 11,500 BTUs per pound Basically, I will need this in kilocalories per kilogram. We talk about it, but we'll see as the question goes on We we'll just come to the conversion and that costs rupees 13.5 per ton 13.5 rupees cost is what it's 13.5 rupees per ton fine yes calculate the optimal operation for a load of 250 megawatts neglect losses so they have given that the losses are zero neglecting the losses so the load demand is what it is 250 megawatts the unknowns are what p1 and p2 P1 is unknown, P2 is unknown and of course lambda also calculate the optimal operation. So you are asked for the optimal operation, calculate P1, calculate P2, calculate the cost of electricity as well which is lambda. Now over here have a look. The first thing that we need to do is to convert this H to X. So F is equal to H times X. This is first we need to do. Right? Yes. H has got what units? H has got units of mega BTUs per hour. X has got what units? This is uh, 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 in the units of what? In the mega BTUs per ton. No, 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 no. Rupees per ton. Sorry, rupees per ton. X is in the units of rupees or any currency per ton. Which means that the, that the units for F would be what? Uh, and this is wrong. MBTUs per hour and the cost is rupees per ton right so which means that f has got what what have i done over here f should be rupees per hour x is rupees per mbtu x is rupees per mbtu yes x is rupees per mbtu so this gives you the units for fr rupees per hour yes yes now this is fine so the, the units for fr rupees per Hour. Now, these are the units for F. 
so which means that I require what I require this X over here I don't have this X so what will I do is what do I have first I have this H which is in MBTUs per hour I have the calorific value which I can convert to what to MBTUs per ton MBTUs per ton I can calculate why because one pound tons to pounds I can do this conversion have a look one ton is how many pounds one ton is about 2000 pounds right one ton is about 2000 pounds so which means that this calorific value I can write over here is 11,500 and multiply it with what where is it multiplied by 2000 yes multiply it with 2000 so this would gives you the calorific value in terms of BTU per ton what does this come out to be 23 into 10 to the power 6 so this is 23 into 10 to the power 6 BTUs per ton or this is 23 into 10 to the power 6 mega BTUs no 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 23 mega BTUs 23 mega BTUs per ton so I have got mega BTUs per ton right yes what next step should I do I need rupees per hour to be the equivalent so the cost X I need rupees per MBTUs now I need the cost I don't have X basically my required value is X which is rupees per hour so how do I get from the given values into the required values basically I am given what I am given over here I am given the value of H which is in MBTUs per hour similarly I am also given the calorific value in MBTUs per ton MBTUs per ton and I am also given the cost in rupees per ton which is over here 13.5 I am also given the cost in rupees per ton what do I require? I require the rate X which is in rupees per MBTU. I require what? I require the rate that is X which is in rupees per MBTU. So have a look from the given dimensions. Can I not calculate this rupees per MBTU? I can and how do I do this I say that this implies X is equal to have a look by rupees per ton dividing the rupees per ton by the MBTU per ton rupees per ton divided by the MBTUs per ton is that fine can I not do it these are given I need the dimensions to be in rupees per MBTU so have a look do I not get it like this rupees per ton multiplied ton by MBTU so have a look MBTU uh, no no not MBTU ton cancels with ton and you've got the rupees per MBTU so have a look I've got my value of X that is the cost so rupees uh, 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 that is R by ton is what that is the cost which is 13.5 and divide it by what the MBTU per ton which is the calorific value this is 23 what does this come out to be this comes out to be 0 0.587 this comes out to be 0 0.587 I hope that this is clear so the only thing to understand in this question is this one this technicality over here you can you do what you do it through the dimensions the X units are rupees per MBTU. You are given these units for H MBTU per hour, calorific value in MBTU per ton, and the cost in rupees per ton. Do the division, multiplication, any alteration, and get me the required units that are what? That are the rupees per MBTU for X, so that I multiply it with my X in uh, my H in MBTUs per hour to give me the input function H in F in rupees per hour is that fine it is so have a look I have got my X for both of them so which means now F1 F1 would be H1 multiplied with what 
multiplied by 0.587 so this comes out to be whatever it is I would just write it down from here directly F2 would be what it would be H2 multiplied 0.587 and these two values are what let me write 234.8 234.8 plus plus what do you have 2.935 p1 plus 0 0.00587 0 0.00587 p1 squared similarly f2 would come out to be 352.2 plus uh, 2.348 p2 2.348 p2 plus 0 0.0088 p2 squared 0 0.0088 p2 squared so now you've got your f1 and f2 can you not do it further for yourself let me let us do it together we take what this was step number zero f1 f2 next is what take the derivatives df1 with respect to dp1 this would be what this is constant the next we have is 2.935 plus 2 multiplied with this thing is 0 0.0117 0 0.0117 p1 similarly df2 with respect to dp2 would be what this is a constant you have 2.348 plus 2 multiply 0 0.0088 is what have i made a mistake they have made a mistake over here they have made a mistake. 2 multiplied with this thing. Multiply 2 with this thing. They have not multiplied it. They have just written, written it directly. Just let me multiply it. Where is the calculator? 2 multiplied with what? 0 0.0088. So this is 0 0.0176. 0 this would be 0 0.0176 and this is p2 do we need to do the calculations or or should we just stick with this one i will just stick with this one because over here then it will waste time you do the calculations by yourself they may have mistakes over here they may have mistakes now we know what we also know that df dp is equal to what df dp is equal to lambda right yes and we don't have any losses so we will put it directly equal to lambda df dp is equal to lambda so this is basically lambda 1 this is lambda 2 this is the same power station serving the same load center so lambda 1 would be equal to lambda 2 would be equal to lambda right yes next step next step is what p1 plus p2 has to be equal to the power demand we don't have any losses and the power demand is given is 250 megawatts right yes now what do you do from here find the value of p1 so p1 is equal to lambda minus 2.935 divided by divided by what divided by 0 0.0117 then plus p2 is what from this equation lambda minus 2.348 divided by what divided by 0 0.0176 0 0.0176 and this is equal to power demand which is 250 megawatts have a look can you not find the value of lambda from here you can you can and the lambda of the lambda value is what the lambda value is 3.85 3.85 rupees per megawatt hour lambda comes out to be 3.85 rupees per megawatt hours fine now you've got lambda can you not find p1 and p2 you can so which means that this one value is this one is for p1 this one is for p2 uh, put putting lambda putting lambda implies what put the value of lambda in this equation p1 comes out to be what 78.63 megawatts 78.63 megawatts putting lambda in this equation p2 comes out to be what 171.25 megawatts 70 and 70 is 140 plus 100 is 240 248 249.2 240 so have a look 250 it's serving the load demand 
there might be a little mistakes in the calculations there might be you have to check for the calculations do the calculations by yourself the derivative is easy this one 2 multiply this 2 multiply this only this one these are constants equal to lambda p1 plus p2 equal to 250 df dp will be lambda y because this is a lossless system this is a lossless system so we don't have the power requirement we don't have the power loss we directly have the power demand put it equal over there do the calculation from here find the incremental rate that is lambda putting lambda equal so what do you have is you find p1 you find p2 is that fine it is so uh, yes the next example in the next video because if i do it over here so it will get very boring i finish this one over here we jump to the next one directly goodbye